Hi, it's Miranda. I want to tell you about my first breakup. When I was um, about 19, 20 years old, through a mutual friend, I met this guy named Kevin. You know, he seemed nice. There was there were no sparks at first. Just a few times we all hung out and I really started to get to like him. So, you know, we started talking a little bit more. Even separately, I had given him my number just to be like, you know, if you ever wanted to call me and we talked for hours and I wanted to go out with this guy. So the same month that I was gonna turn 21, um, I called him up and I asked him out. He said no to me. Um, he told me that it was because of tests, but I thought it was an excuse. I thought he just wasn't interested. Then um, while I was putting uh, my computer together, uh, just after his tests, he called and said, uh, so that question you asked me, yes. And then we started dating. And we were both uh, 24, turning 25. He proposed to me on my birthday that year. The year that we were both 26, we got married. And then it took a little while, but when we were both 37, we finally got pregnant and we became parents. And then, um, at 43 years old, we're separating. This is my first breakup. We've been together for 22 years and almost 17 years married. Um, to anyone who doesn't know me, this might sound like a shock. I'm 43 years old. Uh, to anyone who does know me, this might seem like a shock. Yeah, I know. If you're surprised that I don't seem like more of a wreck right now, maybe, it's because in reality, I have been going through this breakup. I'm still going through it, but I am, I have been going through this breakup probably since around the time I started this channel. I think that's when it really was. If you've ever seen the first video I did when I restarted in 2019, the same month, actually it was in September of 2019. Pretty sure it was September. Second guessing myself now. There was a reason I was having a bit of a, a, a meltdown and I didn't record the worst of it on that video. I just, we were both not doing great for a long time, I think. And I'm a very blunt person and I try to be very logical about things and it doesn't matter because I, um, I felt for a long time that we behaved more like roommates than a married couple. And it felt like that for a very, very long time to me with little bits of married couple in there. But then the bits became less and less. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail for anyone who's hoping that I will because I'm not going to do that. I'm just not. Our, we love each other. We're, there, nothing, nothing happened, if anyone is hoping for anything like that. Nothing happened. It was more just of a, a gradual breakdown of the fact that we are very different people. I've had a couple of days to deal with this and a couple of years to deal with this. It's just, it's been a lot more than you think in addition to like external traumas happening and things like that, it's just, it's been a lot. And on top of that, most, the most recent one being like the pandemic and things like that. So it's just, 
I just know that I was getting more frustrated and upset and him, he would get frustrated and he would disappear and he would just disappear. Ultimately, we just kind of became a little too different. Right now, I actually feel more relieved. I feel better. There is a weight off of me. There's a weight off of him too, both of us. We just, we're, we're even communicating better already. We're just, everything is just, it's gonna be so much better. We're gonna co-parent in the same house for now, for however long it needs to happen. I need to basically, I need to get some stuff together that I currently have no idea. I'll figure it out, yeah. It's a bad news, good news thing. It's not a, it's not a horrible thing and Donovan is not going to suffer for this. We want to make sure that's the most important thing, which is why we're trying to be very healthy about this. We're trying to be really good about this. There's been no betrayals and we can, we, and we trust each other and where you can be friends hopefully for a long time because that's what we really, we both want that. We, we, because we both want to be friends so we can we are able to co-parent our child the right way that's it i don't want to like i said i don't want to give too many details because it's not just my business i'm telling it's his business and i obviously i'm i'm not a very big channel but i do have a decent amount of people watching sometimes i don't think this needs to be said but just in case don't send any hate to anybody there's no, there's no everybody's good we're good sometimes a marriage just doesn't work out as long as you hope it will we didn't want to continue pretending that everything was okay because we kind of already did it for a little too long we've been together for over half of our lives so it's just kind of anyway So I'm, I'm okay. Like I'm, you know, obviously anxious to figure out some stuff. Uh, we might segregate the space in the house a little bit. We're, we're trying to figure that out. In the meantime, we're gonna, we've already kind of been living like this. Like we admitted, we were like, we've kind of already been doing this. Let's just, um, now I know that this should be like a really somber video. I have, I've, I don't know if you paid attention to my channel. I don't know if you paid attention to the world right now. And this has been a very uh, dramatic thing in my life. So what I'd like to do, I'm going to look up the best breakup songs and see which ones, based on the lyrics that I remember, apply to this. Just for fun. Is that stupid? It might be stupid. I don't care. Sometimes you need stupid. Here we go. Here I am on OBS. My setup's a little janky, but you know, I try my best. Um, let's do it. What? No, we're gonna type in best breakup songs. Just, just main. Ooh, okay. Should I, should I click on? All right. To the left, to the left. Okay, um, this is not appropriate for this because we, that's not what's happening here. This one is actually, yes, this is, mm-hmm. Wow, there you go. I'm so fucking grateful for my ex. Yep. Unbreak my heart. I don't, I don't need him to love me again. He doesn't need me to love him again. We love each other. We just... We're not in love. I dug my key. No, we're good. We're good. I don't need to find someone like him. I don't know that he's going to find someone like me. Don't speak. Don't tell me because it hurt. Yeah, well, it hurt, but I think it hurt us enough that it hurt us long enough that by the time we spoke, it was like, you know what? This feels good. So maybe not. I will survive. We will. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like I need to, I mean, I might, sometimes I'm feeling kind of down. 
But right now I'm feeling like, okay, back to black. I don't think that's accurate to our relationship. No, 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 no. It's not even. I don't need him to be gone. We just, we're going to co-parent healthily. This is like any other grieving process, I promise, because it just, it's really go through all the stages because you're grieving a life that you thought you were going to have. And I've done that. And I probably will continue to do that. But right now, I'm okay, which is why I'm recording. Nothing compares. No, we're, we're you know, nothing will compare. But I, I don't. I don't feel the need to sing it with that passion. I don't know what else to say. It still feels weird. Uh, being married to Kevin and Kevin, Kevin and Miranda has just been a thing for so long in our lives. Half of our lives. That's a lot. That's a lot. So it just feels weird right now. I know this is probably, again, a shock to some people whether you know me or not. Hopefully it'll just be like just a, an, a much better relationship regardless. We can be better versions of ourselves for our son. Just all together, it's a positive thing. Like I said, if you've ever watched any of my videos and thought to yourself, yeah, she looks kind of down. I'm just, I'm looking forward to whatever change comes. Uh, I might end up in this room but we're not sure yet we don't know our house is so small that it, we might not go too nuts with that yet um we'll see uh i feel like i want to keep everybody updated just in case anyone else is going through something like this or if anyone else was just like just really curious um i'm not gonna show everything i never really do um and I'm not going to explain more about our relationship too much because, like I said, he's not really online the same way I am. So so I hope, I shouldn't say I hope you enjoyed this video because it's kind of weird to say that. I just want you to understand that this is a, a positive thing. Nobody was bl really blindsided by this. I don't think either one of us were really blindsided by this. I think the only thing that blindsided us was the fact that it just was like, oh, you too. Well, that makes this a little bit easier. Like, it was probably something more like that. It was my first relationship. And um, I'm very much looking forward to, even though still being here and co-parenting and all that, being with myself even more than I already was like really being with myself um, and figuring out my moves and things and just how I'm going to be more independent and stuff. It's going to be interesting. So if anyone wants to, uh, I'm going to make the same kind of videos. I might throw in a few like little updates like this, but otherwise I'm going to make the same kind of videos. I just thought that this was uh, too important a video to not just sit down and do this extra silliness too. And I think it's going to be, it's, it's already a little bit better. It already is. The air has been lifted, you know, it's just better. And I'll see you in the next random video that I do. I don't know what it is. That's the reason why some things have been a little delayed. That's why I just sometimes have like a week in between because just can't record when you're really sad, you know? Sometimes you're really sad and and I, I might still go through that. I want you to understand. Hopefully you understand, but I'm going to try my best to um, because I, it's, like I said, it's a positive thing. Hopefully things will... Besides the world being what it is, hopefully I can continue to make some, some fun things. Bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.